Good morning, everybody. I think we'll get up and go down here and check on these ducks. They've made it through the first night. I'm curious how their water and all that looks. We just put them in the brooder house yesterday. We'll go check on them. They're all outside. They're loving coming outside. Turn this off. And I was curious how their water was looking after being out for one night. Well, they have drank the entire thing in one night. That is filthy. That is filthy. They're just looking great. I love the ducks. But I think they're enjoying <laughs> being outside. So let me clean these waters out. We're going to head over. I got to clean the chicken pen out and the quail pens. After all this rain for days and days and days and days, it has just got to where it smells so bad over there. Everything's soaking wet. Uh, it's just time to clean everything up and hopefully i got to stretch out a fence too i got to finish i had a little eight foot section of fence so when we get done with raising these ducks up we're moving them over there but i had a little eight foot section of fence i didn't quite uh, get to finish up but we're missing that section so i'm just going to take a piece of this hog fence we got stretch it and i'm gonna put some chicken wire in front we priced fence it's like 150 dollars a roll and i'm not buying a whole roll just for eight foot but we'll just use what we got put some chicken wire on it that ought to keep the ducks in we're gonna do that and hopefully at the end of this video, we're going to go down here to the lake uh, and do our first fishing trip of the year. We're going to try to get down here, me and Jessica and, and Mason, we'll take the kids down here and hopefully catch a few crappie. I'm hoping the crappie are biting. They're supposed to be right now, but it's been raining so much, I'm not sure if that's going to affect them. But stick around, <laughs> we're going to have some fun.
just wanted to show you guys that soda pop seems to be a little more alert <laughs> you can tell she's getting that skittishness back her right eye is looking better and she can see she sees my hand she can see but this left eye is not looking too good let's see if i can see that the left eye is not looking too good she still wants to lay down but i think i think she's going to recover i think she's going to do okay uh male on the other hand it's not looking too good for male uh, i was trying to get in the quail pen <laughs> just a minute ago let's see if i can show y'all he got me he got me right there on the back of the leg he didn't get me good but it woke me up <laughs> <laughs> He's over there gobbling now. He got me. He didn't get me real good or cut me open, but he got me. He woke me up. I turned my back on him going into the other quail pen over here to feed them. And boy, he wham hit me in the back of the leg. So I don't know. We hadn't had Mason and Emma down here yet. And, if, and I'm, and you know, I'm a pawpaw. If he jumps on, <laughs> it ain't looking good for male. So we'll keep y'all posted with that. Let me get back over here and finish cleaning out this chicken. I thought I'd, I just popped in my head. I thought I'd give y'all a, a quick update on how soda pop's doing. I'm sure something else is probably hurting besides her head, but she seems to be recovering okay. Well, we got everything knocked out. We got the the ducks taken care of. Uh, they got food, water. They're just happy as they can be. I, I absolutely am blown away with that uh, brooder. We loved it with the chickens, but to put those little waterers out there and you can just rinse everything off, you ain't got to worry about the water. That is such a, a, a treat. We absolutely love it. We got the chicken coop cleaned out. They're happy birds. I absolutely love when we when we get in here clean. We hadn't been able to because of all this rain. It just rains every single day. And of course, the days that it's pretty, I'm at work. So we finally got a weekend where it's just absolute sunshine, blue skies. We got both quails cleaned out too. Both quail pens of quail are happy. Everybody smells like a, <laughs> a pine forest. It's just a, looking a lot better. Pine shavings everywhere. We love those pine shavings. But I wanted to, uh, let's see. We got the ducks, we got the chickens, we got the quail. I wanted to talk to you guys real quick. I didn't video all this stuff. Oh, another thing, I got the fence. The last of the fence done. Uh, I only had needed an eight foot section from about that post to here. And we went to price that stuff. I was going to buy another roll. It was $150 for a big roll. And then we looked for smaller rolls, it was $70. And I'm like, I just need eight foot. And we had this kind, uh, this fence here that we did with the hogs uh, but the ducks probably squeezed through it so we just built that little eight foot strip in and I got so lucky I had I got a bunch of rolls of chicken wire but I always keep all my little spares that was that we use for scrap and stuff I had an absolute perfect piece that stopped right here eight foot I had an eight foot section that we got to utilize that's probably been sitting back there for years that worked out good saving money um, I wanted to talk to you about one more thing we had Mel get me this morning. He got me in the back of the calf, and no big deal. You know, I, I was expecting it to happen, but but uh, you know, we worry about our grandbabies coming down here all the time, and uh, especially you know Mason. He's a little tougher, but Emma's so small. Uh, she's only two, going on three. Well, she should be three in another week or so. But it's just we worry about him. And as I was out here working in the quail pen, I heard something in here. Because once you put all this fresh pine shavings in here, every chicken goes in there to check out, see what you've done. But I heard something in here squealing, sound like a mouse. And uh, I come running out and I seen Mel sitting right here at the doorway. And he was on top of one of our bourbon red hens and he wasn't breeding her. He was, I don't know if he was trying to kill her or what, but he had her pinned down and had her mouth <laughs> in his head or had her head in his mouth. And he was just going crazy with her. And I, I pulled him off and drug him around. Uh, Tried to walk him in here, but I finally had to pick him up and carry him. Well, we put him in the timeout pen. 
actually this is where we're going to be raising our meat turkeys but we put him in here just because i don't know what his what he's going to do he's just getting his springtime you know and he's a male and we understand what that is we actually raised him for meat anyway <laughs> we raised 10 or 12 of them all of them died but him and soda pop so we may get two <laughs> out of 12 uh ghost subscribe to homestead in the right way that's my son-in-law's channel i called him and he said paul paul that's what everybody around here calls me paul paul don't worry about it i got it i'm gonna take care of it monday so go check out homestead in the right way that's my son-in-law's channel and you'll see what's going to happen to mel uh i think y'all might <laughs> know what's going to happen but look i'm done I'm gonna, I got everything cleaned up with this last roll of wire. I'm going to clean that up, and we're going to go see if he's crappy or biting Dest, uh, Destiny. My daughter Jessica and the kids, they're dying to go. I'm dying to go. It's a pretty day. We're going to go see if we can catch some crappy. Well, we're not going to drag this out much longer. We've been here a little while and have not had a single nibble. So I, I know the water's ice cold. The crappie are, bite, are probably biting, but probably down there in that shallow. That's where we caught them all this time last year is up in that shallow. But we didn't want to get the boats out. We got the babies and all. Uh, we got Destiny down here. We got everybody's down here trying to see if we're going to get a bite. Most of the kids played in the mud, but I didn't want to drag this out too much longer. But guys, I really appreciate y'all. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're if you're not a subscriber do me a favor click that subscribe button she's not wanting to do anything but play in the mud but like i say hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber we really appreciate it guys we love y'all to death and we will see you on the next video right right